first. Very good morning to all the students of class plus to see yes, better today we will revise chapter indigo very prominent chapter based on the true facts you can say fine so what is indigo first of all if you remember yes Samyak, what is indigo yes it's a commercial crop which is used for the purpose of dye fine coloring and all so that's why the name of the chapter is indigo clear and why they have kept this name indigo because the whole chapter is revolving around this crop this is this commercial crop i must say because britishers you know british landlords and and all they were befooling indian peasants to grow this commercial crop so that they can get best output out of it fine economically as well as the way they would uh, like they were squeezing the efforts of indian peasants reason being indian peasants were unaware uneducated they did not have any associations who could speak on behalf of them so that was the main reason so they have prominently chosen the title as indigo it is written by louis fisher you should know the name of the writer as well fine so louis fisher uh, he served as a volunteer in the British Army and he has seen everything closely. So this chapter is like a direct conversation with uh, Mahatma Gandhi was made, his interview was taken and out of that the chapter is written. So there are there is a lot of factual true information in this. Okay, this is nothing you can say fiction and all that stuff. No. So let me introduce the characters. This chapter we cannot revise in one period, you know, so to by tomorrow we will be able to finish it. So the, the students who have joined today, it's a request, please join for your own sake tomorrow as well. Let me introduce the characters, prominent character, again, protagonist Rajkumar Shukla, very, you can say, though he was not literate or educated, but he was an aware peasant, fine, just go awareness thi. Then Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, Gandhi ji is there. He's also one of the important characters. Professor J.B. Kriplani and Professor Malkani will be arriving when Gandhi ji will be, you know, arriving to help Rajkumar Shukla. He had a lot of associations because he was uh, not that famous uh, the way we know him to be today, father of nation. At that time, he was known as an active leader of Congress who is uh, well read, well educated, uh, who has completed his education in law. So the and he was the one who would raise voice for the needy people who never, you can say, uh, hesitated to help the, you can say, Indian peasants as well or any person. So that's why he was known as one of the prominent leaders of Congress at that time. Professor uh, Malkani and Kriplani will be helping Gandhiji in his uh, further uh, you can say actions. Then secretary of British Landlord Association, those who were having the rights to take decisions of uh, percentage, they were deciding how much they will extract from the Indian peasants and all. Then British official commissioner. These are the officials of uh, British, uh, you can say people, those who are responsible for taking decision on the behalf of Britishers, fine. So we will be, there are more characters, but today we will be able to reach the story where these characters enter, clear? So uh, Rajkumar Shukla is adamant to see Gandhiji. Why he is adamant to see Gandhiji? So in December, 1916, fine. Let me uh, share the screen as well. Fine. So you can see the facts here on the page as well. In December 1916, Gandhi went to Lucknow to attend the annual convention. So at your own level, you can note down, fine. Uh, annual convention and there were more than 2000, like 2301 delegates were there when he went to attend that convention. And many visitors, you know, he was a prominent leader. So many people would come and visit him for their problems and uh, seeking advice and legal actions and all. So a peasant from Champaran district. So he belonged to Champaran district. You should know this, very important, clear? 
चंपारण डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो राजकुमार शुक्ला हेल्स फ्रॉम चंपारण डिस्ट्रिक्ट he uh, visited gandhi ji and uh, he started he could not meet gandhi ji there but he kept on following him wherever gandhi ji goes where, what where, at what ever place he was going gand uh, shukla was following him <coughs> fine so gandhi ji finally met him and said okay you will be uh, i will uh, come with you but reach there and at so and so date Gandhi decided to go first to Muzaffarpur to play, obtain complete information. So when Rajkumar Shukla meets Gandhi ji, firstly Gandhi ji was a man of law. Fine, he has been educated in this law system. So he said, firstly I will collect the facts before taking any action. Fine. So Champaran peasants and all Rajkumar Shukla informed them that there is share croppers. You know the arrangement of the. the percentage and all uh, britishers are taking too much from us and they are befooling us and we need some leader who can guide us uh, during this injustice and all so uh, gandhi told shukla that he had an app appointment in kanpur and was also committed to go to other parts of india so he has to shukla followed him to ashram fine so he begged gandhi ji please fix a date for me please fix a date so he was quite you know impressed by his patience and tenacity that how this person so then gandhi ji gives the date to him that i have to be in calcutta on such and such a date date mentioned nahi hai aapke chapter mein place mentioned hai so where did gandhi ji go calcutta to unhone bola ki maine is date ko calcutta jana hai and you come and meet me there and take me from there fine and then i will go with you so that was decided uh, months passed shukla was you know sitting on his haunches at the appointed spot in calcutta before gandhi ji could reach calcutta on that date after months you can say he was so busy that he gave the date after months rajkumar shukla was already sitting there waiting for gandhi ji's arrival so then shukla led him to the house of a lawyer named rajendra prasad two of them boarded a train for the city of patna in bihar fine two of them kon kon gandhi ji and rajkumar shukla they went to a train <coughs> which led them to the house of a lawyer named who is rajendra prasad he is first president so at that time he was not first president but yes he was also one of the prominent leaders so they went to see arjendra prasad was acquaintance of gandhi ji so gandhi ji along with raj kumar shukla went over there arjendra prasad was out of town but the servants you know of shukla <coughs> sorry uh, servants of arjendra prasad they did not know who is gandhi ji and who is raj kumar shukla they thought raj kumar shukla is a very you know simple peasant and gandhi ji was also dressed up very simply he was not a man of pretentious nature so they thought that two common peasants are there they did not you know offer them any service they did not allow them to take water from their well even so they, that shows this small incident shows that how untouchability is concept was still prevailing during those times ki gandhi ji kaun the unko nahi pata tha so at that time even he uh, faced the discrimination on the basis of their economical condition so gandhi ji was not allowed to get water from the uh, you can say uh, bucket they used to think bucket pollute the entire source you cannot touch the taps even so that incident happened then gandhi ji decided to go to muzaffarpur first which was you know and route to champaran before reaching champaran muzaffarpur will come so he reaches there so that he can get more and more information and then he mentioned then beta he sent a telegram to professor triplani clear abhi entry hui hai this character so he put a because there at that time phones were not there and all so he uh, you can say sent a telegram to professor jb triplani of the arts college in muzaffarpur fine so that he could arrange accordingly the train arrived at midnight on 15th april 1917 Kriplani was waiting at the station with a large body of students. So J B Kriplani 
that professor was so excited he was waiting with a group of students to you know welcome gandhi ji gandhi ji was such a prominent personality but he uh, he just welcomed him received him where gandhi ji would be staying in muzaffarpur please make sure he was he chose professor malkani's residence and during those days beta uh yes plus to see are you listening <coughs> clear hai sabko ab tak so uh, make sure okay rajkumar shukla clear hai mk gandhi ka character clear ho gaya professor jb kriplani along with a group of students went to receive gandhi ji and then at whose house he would be staying professor malkani's house during those days it was not a common thing to give shelter to such prominent personas your life and your family's life can be at risk but even then professor malkani he did not hesitate he gave shelter to gandhi ji for few days fine so he uh, resided with professor malkani who received him at the station jb kyunki name milte julte hai na that's why i'm making you clear about it again and again clear so after that he will be fetching gandhi ji will be fetching information while staying at muzaffarpur for two days that exactly what is the scene what is the share cropping arrangement why they are be fooled how they are being be fooled and all and he will be having his association jaise rajendra prasad ko bhi jante hain gandhi ji professors ko bhi jante hain and he will be collecting the lawyers next step will be to collect lawyers and he will be scolding them that how you people are also be fooling your indian peasants you being indian indian lawyers even then you are be fooling them so a proper steps you can say step by step he is following the process this is the difference between education and uneducated person rajkumar shukla was not educated but he was aware ki hamare sath galat ho raha hai fine they were not uh, able to sign and they were putting thumb impressions all the peasants they were not able to calculate the arrangement system share cropping arrangement as well ki how they are being befooled but rajkumar shukla could perceive something is there but only this man can help me at least he took a bold step and gandhi ji further took that matter into investigation mk gandhi never thought in his life that this uh, visit to muzaffarpur and champaran district will change his entire life actually this indigo movement is the base of indian independence clear so that led to uh, creating awareness among masses after this incident when britishers ran away okay they uh, released the land to the indian peasants only then people got awareness only then groups were formed and youth became united and then they started ki yes if we can do this we can get our country free as well fine so this movement is very important you might have read in sst as well in junior classes hai na padha hoga aapne so let me continue yes online children clear hai sabko keep on sending me your feedback jab questions puchne tab kuch bolte nahi ho aage se so uh gandhi ji you know went to professor malkani who was professor malkani he was a teacher in a government school fine please note down so professor malkani was a teacher in a government school and he did extraordinary thing by giving shelter to you know uh, a man like gandhi ji and uh, indians were very afraid to show sympathy specifically to advocates and man of law so gandhi ji was one of the very prominent lawyers and he gave shelter to this legal personality and famous leader so that is a big deal fine so gan news of gandhi ji's arrival uh, you know that spread quickly through muzaffarpur and champaran district as well ki mahatma gandhi that lean man who is the leader and who is lawyer and well educated you know he has reached muzaffarpur and champaran district he is looking into this matter fine so muzaffarpur lawyers called on gandhi to brief him they frequently represented peasant groups in court they told him about their cases and reported the size of their fee as well so now muzaffarpur lawyers were they had a meeting with gandhi ji fine and they started talking that how they work together and how how much fee is imposed for the cases 
so gandhi ji chided the lawyers chided means scolded he scolded them that you know collecting big fee from share croppers i have come to the conclusion that we should stop going to law courts now kehta fir koi nahi aayega aapke paas if people are coming to you to take the case further to the law courts and you are charging such a big amount and taking such cases to the courts does little good there is no use of talking to you people then where the peasants are so crushed that's why they are fear stricken these law courts are useless you people are useless not helping our indian peasants so he said that my motive now is to you know to free the peasants from feeling of fear kehta mera mudda ab ye nahi hai that the share cropping arrangement and all why they are afraid of you firstly they should get afraid of you people then they should be afraid of the britishers as well and they are snubbed and crushed each and every place so my now motive is to get them released from this feeling of fear pehle wo baad mein share cropping arrangement so most of the arable land in champaran district was divided into large estates on the arable land kya hota hai beta which is quite productive which can give uh, arable land is wo upjau jisko keh dete ho hindi mein na fertile so he gave you know that most of the arable land was owned by englishmen so they were smarter and they would get work from the indian tenants those who would take the land on rent fine so chief commercial crop was indigo and now very important question let me tell you let me have a break out of this what was the share cropping arrangement please note down you should understand what is share cropping arrangement kitne percent land pe kya ugana tha kya output aani thi so what is important in this chapter firstly that how did this movement initiated fine how did this movement initiate who is responsible yes kartik rajkumar yes rajkumar shukla when how he went to gandhi ji and how gandhi ji went here this is you are supposed to mention over there and second question is what was the share cropping arrangement fine uh, mentioned uh, here in this chapter and then what is indigo what is the importance of indigo why the chapter is named indigo that is also a question in itself and even list the places ncert question hai that gandhi visited between uh, his first meeting with shukla and his arrival at champaran so before that he went to muzaffarpur you should know कि पहले कहाँ पे गए बाद में कहाँ पे गए वॉट वॉज द प्रोसेस सो ईच एंड एवरी डिटेल शुड बी देर सो प्रेजेंटली द लैंड लॉर्ड लर्न दैट वॉट हैपन शेयर क्रॉपिंग अरेंजमेंट क्या था द लैंड लॉर्ड कंपेल्ड ऑल द इंडियन टैलेंट्स टू प्लांट थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी का मीनिंग है फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ देयर होल्डिंग्स विद इंडिगो सो दे फोर्स द इंडियन टैलेंट्स दैट फिफ्टीन परसेंट होल्डिंग्स विल बी grown with indigo only and not only this pehle to indigo grow karo surrender the entire crop or harvest as rent and that was the long term contract ki ek to grow bhi indigo karoge aur uska production bhi humko as a rent doge so they were befooling indian peasants from all sides if somebody has see beta somebody has taken land for on rent that i will do my work on this so if owner says acha उसमें से पंद्रह परसेंट पे मेरा हक है इंडिगो भी उगाओ एंड प्लीज प्लस प्रोडक्शन भी दो प्लस टैलेंट भी दो ऑफ दैट लैंड यू नो दे आर बिफोलिंग इंडियन पीजन टू दैट एक्सटेंट सो दैट इज द मेन स्मार्टनेस ऑफ ब्रिटिशर्स सो दैट वॉज ये क्लियर हो गया सबको एवरीबडी शेयर क्रॉपिंग अरेंजमेंट बेटा यू शुड नो सो दैट वॉज द लॉन्ग टर्म कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्रेजेंटली द लैंड लॉर्ड लर्न दैट नाउ वॉट हैपन्ड वेन इंडियन पीजन स्टार्टेड ग्रोइंग इंडिगो on 15% land in the meantime britishers got to know that germany had started producing synthetic indigo which is cheaper and which they can import from germany at very cheap prices so then they started you know they obtained agreements from the share croppers kehte okay ye to hamara waste kar diya aapne 15% uh, holdings so you have to compensate for that as well see is there any need of compensation yes 
that's why na that's why but see they were uneducated they could not make out what is happening and those who were able to understand what is happening there is of no use because there is no leader to talk about this this that is the problem na that's why rajkumar shukla became restless ki ye to bahut galat ho raha hai pehle bhi galat hua and secondly he said ki okay you have grown indigo but we do not need indigo any more from you you have to compensate for that as well then rajkumar shukla could not bear it and he went to straight away to gandhi ji so share cropping arrangement was very irksome to the peasants irksome is it was they were not able to understand what is happening so you know calculations it takes time when we try to understand it was very intricate unhone itna mushkil kar diya ek innocent peasant ke liye so those but peasants were able to understand something bad is happening to us those who resisted some peasants you know just like rajkumar shukla they went to lawyers that we will file case against you but what is the you can say they were not uh, lawyers were also not helping they started charging high fee of they started you can say washing hands kehte na baiti ganga mein haath dhone hum bhi so everybody was like befooling them so nothing is of use so uh, and you know landlords british landlords they started hiring thugs who were the thugs who were like they will be you know killing the tenants indian peasants and all so he said ki if you will do this if you will go legal uh, for legal process we will arrange thugs for you and you are no more than so from every side blows were given to indian peasants only because they have already signed the agreement they could not do anything about this so this was the highest point that peak was there when gandhi ji arrived in champaran district clear at what point gandhi ji arrived at champaran when kiyos were at peak when share cropping arrangement that agreement was done and uh, cases were filed thugs were hired everything was done and gandhi ji entered at that moment at champaran district fine is it clear to all three of you any doubt online children beta please tell me because if any doubt will be there you won't be able to take it further fine so gandhi ji is entry at champaran district now okay now uh, next character i told you uh, gandhi ji called on the british official commissioner of the tirhut division in which champaran district lay fine so this is the official uh, prospect that the in whose district who is the british official commissioner of this area fine so tirhut division padta tha us jagah pe champaran mein so gandhi ji meant and uh, gandhi ji you know went to meet this british official commissioner of the tirhut division commissioner gandhi reports proceeded to bully me and advise me to leave tirhut let me tell you about this uh you can say british official commissioner this last character gandhi ji thought i should meet him and i should ask him you are the commissioner of this division tirhut division of champaran district so you should you know uh, listen to me that how things are there rather than listening to gandhi ji he gave him uh you can say because he started abusing him and he started asking him that you leave champaran immediately otherwise your life will be at risk fine so gandhi ji was like now to i am not going to go anywhere even uh, the persons at higher prestigious post they are be fooling me as well they are torturing me now it is not going to be that casual so uh, commissioner bullied gandhi ji clear gandhi ji did not leave obviously he will not go if he has come for a purpose instead he went to motihari please note down after champaran where did gandhi ji go you should know this map actually map ye kahan gaye pehle kahan se kahan calcutta pe rajkumar shukla mila and then they went to muzaffarpur first and then they went to champaran district 
and now he went to capital of champaran that is motihari m o t i h a r i so several lawyers accompanied him by this time this is a procession many people many influential knowledgeable educated people have joined gandhi ji unko laga that if this man who has nothing to gain in this he is doing uh, so much efforts why should not we join him to hum bhi join karte hain usko so many uh, lawyers accompanied gandhi ji at the railway station a vast big crowd greeted gandhi ji at motihari uh, railway station so he went to a house and using it as head quarters continued his investigations so gandhi ji ke bahut influential uh, relations the he went to particular house usko unhone head work head quarter bana liya that there from where he will be working he started his investigations and uh, from one of the investigation because phones were not there they have links only telegrams only so from one of the you can say investigations a report came that a peasant had been maltreated in nearby village and he has been beaten up by british officials brutally because he was revolting so gandhi ji kehte i will go and see next morning gandhi ji went out because you know transport system was also not good so gandhi ji went on an elephant you can very well imagine fine he animals like camels and elephants they were uh, in mostly in use so he sat at the back of an elephant and he said i will go to see that peasant jisko inhone bahut brutally mara hai he had not proceeded far abhi thoda sa aage gaye honge to police superintendent's messenger overtook him so police superintendent's messenger he ordered him that return take your carriage back ye apna carriage piche le jao animals carriage laga ke piche baith jate the na wo so carriage wapas le jao gandhi ji compiled that why should he complied gandhi ji said why should i go back messenger uh, said that take this official notice quit champaran right now <coughs> to a official document was signed by that messenger of police superintendent then he handed over to uh, gandhi ji that quit champaran immediately gandhi ji rather than getting that official notice he signed a receipt for the notice unko legal way pata tha that if he is giving me legal notice i can sign a receipt that he writes over there i disobey the order what will you do fine and you know this is the time they are going to you know throw that net on gandhi ji they thought that they were searching for an opportunity that when gandhi ji will commit a mistake we will catch him and we will throw him out just this man is creating disturbance otherwise they are of no use though all the lawyers and farmers and peasants they cannot do anything so they gave legal notice to gandhi ji and gandhi ji wrote a receipt and signed it i disobey your uh, orders what will you do and gandhi ji could not sleep that night because he had to he was uh, as a result if you disobey the legal order you are summoned by them aapne dekha hoga bahut sare celebrities bhi jate hain when they are summoned at uh, uh, recently many cases have been there so when a summoned paper is there calling paper unko hai mila hai they have to attend they cannot go outside district they have to stay there in the same district as the legal procession so gandhi ji could not sleep for the whole night he kept uh, you can say awake and he uh, telegrammed uh, uh, rajendra prasad and all the associations and people in noticeable you can say personalities so now he will be implying those uh, tricks legal tricks to catch hold of the british uh, people okay itna clear hai sabko baki hum next continue karenge tomorrow please join for the uh, and question answers also i will give you the list okay have a nice day beta